Alice Maggio. I'm the Local Currency Program Director at the Schumacher Center for New Economics and I coordinate the Berkshires program in Berkshire County, Massachusetts. I studied sociology and French at Wesleyan University in Connecticut and I found my way to Berkshires uh, sort of in my own backyard. This is our currency, Berkshires, and um, we have ones, fives, tens, here's a ten, and twenties and fifties. And they all feature local heroes and local artwork. You can buy these at five local banks. There are 13 branches that have Berkshires in their vaults. And if you bring dollars in, you can get Berkshires back. So you can bring 95 cents in and you'll get one Berkshire. Or you can bring in $95 and you'll get 100 Berkshires. And if you want to bring your Berkshires back, you can. You can bring them to the bank and you'll get the same rate back. So if you bring 100 Berkshires, you'll get $95. Our region is about 19,000 people. And um, so it's very small. It's like the size of a city neighborhood. And there, we can't really tell how many people use them because you don't have to sign up. You can, anybody can use them. You can just go to the bank. Uh, but we have 400 businesses that participate and um, five banks. So most people in our region have used them before. I don't get paid in Berkshires, but I change a lot of my salary into Berkshires so I can spend it in the local economy. Um, lots of coffee shops and restaurants take Berkshires, grocery stores, uh, dentists, accountants, and excavators, and there is a landlord in Pittsfield who takes Berkshires. And um, we don't have very many apartment buildings in the Berkshires, but I know of one landlord and he's really excited about the idea. Uh, Berkshires were started in 2006, they were issued in 2006, but they come from a long history of experimentation with local currency in our region. In the early 90s, there was a deli that issued deli dollars as a way to finance their move from one location to another um, because they couldn't get a bank loan. But uh, the store, the deli, was so popular that the deli owner appealed to his customers and said, I'll issue these deli dollars. You can buy a 10 deli dollar note for $8 now, and you can redeem them later once we move. And so you can redeem them for ham and cheese sandwiches. Um, and in a month, he made all that he needed to move. Um, and he had printed his own currency. He wrote expiration dates or redemption dates on them so that people could only redeem them at certain times. So he wrote his own loan repayment plan, basically. Um, and right around the same time, farmers were having a really hard time getting the loans they needed to start up in the, in the spring. So two farms issued uh, farm preserve notes and it was called Berkshire Farm Preserve Notes and that was sort of like a CSA but it was actually uh, a currency so they had vegetables all over them and they said in farms we trust and uh, it, it was a way of getting startup capital in the spring so that they could plant and then reap the harvest in the fall and that was pretty re revolutionary at that point but now that's what CSAs are all about and this is the woman who started the CSA movement in the US, her name's Robin Benin, so she's featured on here. Um, so we have this history of experimentation in the Berkshires. It really has started people thinking uh, about the local economy. It identifies the local economy, it identifies the locally owned stores, the locally owned banks, um, and highlights them, promotes them, and when you're handing over, because it's only cash, um, you have to hand a note to somebody, which is like basically telling them you're voting for them. And so people have to think about where they're spending their cash a little bit more than they used to. Well, I'm always reminded by the woman I work with, Susan Witt, that we're actually transforming the economy. And I don't like to just, it's frustrating to just try to patch up problems. And I think 
in, when I studied sociology, we were learning about all these problems that are so deep rooted and, and not really finding solutions. Everything sort of felt wrong. But when you're actually trying to, it's, it's really hard to make fundamental economic transformation, but that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a currency that reflects the values of a place um, that's democratically run, that where the decision making is made at the community level and therefore can meet community needs and use community resources. And actually, we're going to loan out Berkshires for productive purposes. So that will be the point where we can become an independent currency um, because we will be loaning Berkshires without dollar backing. And that will have to be a community decision. So we'll have a, a Berkshires loan committee that's made up of community members. Um, but that, at that point, where you're actually supporting businesses to, to grow and to come into being, then people can see the point more. So, um, and it won't be for consumer loans, it'll be productive loans that are, uh, for example, for technology. Usually, productive loans are for technology. So, the currencies, like a small amount of currency will go out to create a lot of production. And will this currency will use interest then? Or? The loans will be interest free, but there will be a one-time fee for each loan to help support the loan program. But it will be interest free loans because the, there's no cost to the money since it's not coming down from the Fed. Yeah.